discipline that you study? I study Kung Fu Shaolin. It's, it's really good because it builds a lot of character and it makes me stronger as a person, especially going through all the stuff that I went through coming over here to America. It just teaches me a lot about, you know, who I am and what I am and uh, about respect, discipline and uh, patience and perseverance and endurance and all that. Hi, I'm Sifu Romain, here to talk to you about Shaolin Kung Fu. There is a legend that dates back to 527 AD about an Indian monk who travels from India to China. When he gets to China, he finds the monks are weak and he's there to teach his version of Chan Buddhism. Well, while they're falling asleep, he gets frustrated. He decides to go into a cave for a period of about nine years. When he comes out, he comes out with some special training exercises. Some of those exercises, or one of those exercises, was the 18 bone marrow washing qigong. Those exercises help to restore the monks to better health. Those monks eventually transferred those exercises or took ideas from those exercises and that became the first organized system of Kung Fu and we call that Shaolin. Now in order for students to graduate from the Shaolin Temple there was a period of tests that they had to take. There was an oral and written examination, there was contest amongst their peers and of course the famous hallway of 108 dummies and as they walked through the hallway different panels would trigger different dummies and they would be attacked. If they survived, they would get to the end of the hallway where there was a uh, urn that they had to move and they had to move it with their forms. And when they did that, they were branded with the tiger on one side and the dragon on the other. And then the door would open and that would serve as their diploma as their graduation from Shaolin. To begin with, Kung Fu is based on nature. And one of the things that we find in nature are animals. And animals can determine the attitude behind what we're doing, the spirit behind the Kung Fu that we're practicing. So the five animals, they are tiger, dragon, leopard, snake, and crane. Now there are tons of other animals, but these are the five basic animals. So let's take a look at some of the animal movements. First, we have the tiger claw. The tiger claw incorporates the use of all five fingers as well as the palm. When using the five fingers, each finger would find a point. I can not only grab, but I can also rake. The dragon. The dragon uses a claw too. It's more like a talon though. Notice how the fingers are spread out. Here I can strike, I can strike, I can rake, I can pull. That's the dragon. Next we have the leopard. The leopard paw is a flat fist. Notice how the fingers are nice and tight, hand is flat. We use this area to strike, boom. Or we could strike this way. If you were punching, I can block and then strike, okay? The leopard is known for its strength and its power as it strikes. Now we'll look at the snake, all right? When we're working the snake, we're working quick hand movements, okay? Both inside, we can work outside as well. We can block down and then go up. Snake is known for its flexibility. The crane. All the fingertips come together, hooking at the wrist. I can block with the wrist. I can strike, boom, with the wrist. I can poke with the fingertips to soft areas. These are the five animals of Shaolin, teaching you the crane stance. To begin with, we'll start with the hands on the waist. From here, he's gonna raise his right leg up, bringing the knee straight towards his chest. Toes pointed down, notice the ankles slightly turned in. Stomach in, chest out, back straight, eyes focused forward on one point. This will help with balance. The other thing that helps with balance is keeping the supporting knee slightly bent. From here, he's gonna hop and switch legs. Go. Pointing the toe down, good. And again, go. Right, now the crane stance is a great stance because you can use it to avoid a sweep. You can use it to block a kick. You can also use it to execute a kick. If you do a front kick straight out, right. So crane stance has a lot of different uses, both offensively and defensively. The drop stance. From here, you're gonna have your hands on your waist. You're gonna turn your supporting foot out 45. Then you're gonna drop and let the other foot just slide out in front of you, like executing a low side kick. Now, really important to try to keep your back straight in this position. Look and lean towards your front foot. Turn this foot to 45 degree angle, out. 
Good. And you can, you can get a really nice stretch in this position. It's also a great position to attack, like I said, the lower extremities as if you were dropping down and throwing a low side kick. I'm Sifu Romain, and this is how you do a drop stance. The first thing I want to talk to you about are the different ranges. Of course, we have kicking, punching, immobilization, and grappling. And in Shaolin Kung Fu, we actually have techniques for each of these areas. Let's start with kicking, since it's the furthest range. Of course, we have all the basic kicks. We have side kick. We have hook kick. We have roundhouse. And of course, we can combine them as well. Not only do we have those long range kicks, we also have spinning techniques and sweeping techniques. If he steps forward, we can sweep him this way. There are many of those sweeping techniques and kicking techniques in Kung Fu. When we look at the hand techniques, we have eye jab, we have back fist, we have spinning back fist. We also have an array of hand techniques incorporating animal movements. The next range is what we call trapping or immobilization. This is using sensitivity training uh, where we work on working on reflexes based on touch. So let's begin. That was what we call pox out or lops out. Let me do a little slower. Slapping hand entry, punch. He blocks, I finger jab, grab, followed by another punch. If I can hit him once, I can hit him 10 times. We can even add this right into grappling range. So, from here, come in, right into our grappling range. In Kung Fu, if I wanna to go to grappling range from kicking, I can have my partner kick, I can block, grab, and sweep. I'm Sifu Romain, and these are Shaolin fighting techniques. That was a pretty good move, actually. Yeah, I never seen you use that before, man. Hey, I still have a few you guys haven't seen. Two combination side punch and reverse punch. Let's begin. We'll start out from our horse stance, hand out to the side, eyes focused on your first two knuckles. From here, he's gonna pivot on the balls of his feet into a forward stance and throw a reverse punch. It's very important to make sure you have proper body position and alignment, all the way down to the rear heel, pushing it into the ground. Notice in the forward stance, the front foot slightly turned in. From here, he's gonna pivot back to horse stance and snap the punch right out. And again, forward and back to horse and punch. Punch, 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 punch. And let's go to the other side now. Ready? It's very important to balance your training, both right-sided and left-sided. And punch, and again, watch the alignment of the body, making sure the front thigh is parallel to ground, front foot turned in, heel pushed down. And punch, 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 punch. And back to attention. I'm Sifu Romain, and this was combination horse stance punch to reverse punch. Let's begin. The first combination that we're gonna teach you is slap kick to pubu, which is drop stance, palm beak. Let's begin. Slap kick, drop down, and palm beak. Hand in front, hand behind, in your drop stance position, making sure both feet are flat, looking and leaning towards the front foot. Now we'll show you the same technique from another angle. Begin. Next combination will be from forward stance, with the arm stretched out, the forearm in the palm. From here, you're gonna wheel the arms, circling, one past the other, double hook knee posture, one, two, Pressing down and double punch. One, two. Okay, now we'll do it again from a different angle. And forward stance, arm out. And wheeling the arms, double hook knee posture. Pressing and forward stance, double punch. One, two. Now we're gonna do it full speed. And 
and one more from the other angle. Last combination we're gonna do is a very simple combination. We're gonna start from our crane stance. Right hand up, left hand at the shoulder, toe pointed down, please. From here, we're gonna step down to forward stance. And we're gonna do an arc step. Step one and two, and inside crescent to palm beak again. Let's do it from another angle. Starting from our crane stance, arms straight up, hand at the shoulder, knee directly in front of you, toes pointed down, foot turned slightly in. From here, step down to forward stance, both arms stretched out, step with the rear foot first, step again, inside crescent, on beat. Now we'll do it full speed. This concludes our demonstration of basic Shaolin combinations. The next technique I'll demonstrate is called the sweep. This is a very famous technique sometimes known as the iron broom. So what we're gonna do from here is with my partner facing this way, I'm gonna drop down. As I drop down, I'm gonna pivot and stretch my leg out, sweeping him backwards. We'll demonstrate full speed. Now let's try it from a different angle. As I drop down, I'm gonna turn away, lifting my heel up, and now I'm on the ball of the foot. I create momentum and spin, sweeping his leg back as he falls down. Now we'll do it full speed. It's very important not to stop your momentum as you turn. The tactic we're about to demonstrate for you is called the golden hook. Kung Fu is known for its sweeping techniques, and this is probably one of the most famous ones. We'll demonstrate it slowly first. As my partner comes in, I step out, I block, I grasp, I'm gonna sweep the leg. As I sweep the leg, I'm also gonna chop right at the neck. Now we'll demonstrate a little faster. Now we'll demonstrate it from a different angle. Now we'll demonstrate slowly. As my partner steps in, I'm going to step out to the side, block and grab. I then come over and as I chop towards the throat, I'm going to hook at the leg and sweep. Good morning. Good morning. Ready? Fierce and strong. You have the spirit of the snake. Nice. Brave and resilient. You have the spirit the Phoenix. Master Casey, Spirit of the Phoenix, Spirit of the Snake. I've been trained to see your animal spirits. I'm a Paishwa master. I see not only who you are, but also what you have inside. What do we have inside us, Master Casey? A lot. Just like animals do, you trust and control your instincts. You know how to defend yourself or attack. Most importantly, you know it's never to be used in anger, only as a means of survival. And if that happens, you've taught us that, like tigers, bare hands can be as mighty as any weapon out there. Yeah, very good, Emma. Very good. It's from the Order of the Claw. It was a group of rangers that believed inside of everyone is an animal spirit. What else does it say? The Order of the Claw discovered that with proper training, you can unleash your inner animal spirit and become a fearsome warrior.
Good. Now dig deep inside and concentrate. You've done it! You've tapped into your animal spirits! <laughs> yeah! <laughs>